Hi there, this is Pete Buckwald, and if you are like me, you're a Logic user, and you don't like the uh, available options to create an arpeggiator inside Logic, and you're looking for a free plugin that'll do arpeggiating, um, this is the one I found. There's others available out there that might have more flexibility. This one is not doing what I want it to so far, but let's take a look at it. Hypercyclic by MooCoder. And you would download it for Mac OS, of course, and install it in the appropriate place in your library folder, etc. Put that component in the proper spot. I'm sure it'll. you can figure that out, your big boys and girls. Um, if you can't figure out how to install a free plugin, just do a little bit of Google searching and, and you can find it pretty easily. Uh, so once, in, once it is installed, after that, you'll need to open up your Logic and create a new session. When you open up uh, Logic after installing that component, it's going to scan for new plugins and it'll show up. So let's see. Let's do two <coughs> new software instruments. Uh, on instrument one, we're going to grab our new arpeggiator. So it's the Moo Coder Hypercyclic. We'll do its stereo. And let's leave that over here. We'll come back to that in a second and we'll install some kind of, let's start with a polyphonic synth. We'll do a little bit of experimenting after this to see if we can get more of the results I'm hoping. All right, the manual online talks you through some of the, the setup that you have to do, but uh, I'll talk you through what I had to do. The, the manual online uh, tells you how to do it with Logic 7.2 Express. And, but all this basically worked, it just things looked a little differently. So indeed, you I did have to go to the audio MIDI setup. Um, once I opened that up, it had to, I had to double click on this IAC driver, select ports, and highlight that, and after that it was good to go. After you do that, then things will work properly in Logic and getting this thing set up how we want to use it. Uh, in other words, we want the arpeggiator to play a synthesizer that's native to Logic, such as this ESP. All right, so here's the next couple steps. Once we told our operating system where some of our MIDI uh, stuff was and that uh, MIDI utility, look up at this upper left section. We got two. We have to identify the MIDI in and the MIDI out. Currently, in the drop-down menu, there's not what we want. Uh, this has to be my Arturia keyboard for the input. For the output, I want it to be that new driver that we just uh, identified in the OS. So let's let's start with that. With the MIDI out, go down to configure. Uh, let's pull it up for both of them actually. So the MIDI settings for the out output, we want it to go out to that IAC driver, the bus one. For the input, I need this plugin to be able to hear my MIDI controller on my desk here. So that's the Arturia, the laboratory. So I'll select that. All right, close that up. Once I do that, I still need to um, go back into these because all that, that step did was make them available in this drop down menu. So the input, I need the laboratory, and the MIDI out, that IAC driver. All right, then this is all set up. If this blinking light is going, that means it's armed and ready to go. I'd suggest, um, yeah, I'll, I'll, let me retract that statement that I was going to say. All right, make sure that you're you're highlighted here on the the instrument you want to play. So let's see if that works. All right, it's working, but we're not arpeggiating, and that's because this arpeggiator is married to our ruler to the timeline so we have to start the song playing or why don't we just record it for the heck of it I'm gonna play an A minor chord Alright, so that's kind of the gist of the sound. So I am unhappy because to me that's not an arpeggiator. That's a, a pulsator or something, you know. And I was messing around with some of these presets 
under this drop down up here to see if there are other ones that go up and down like arp over the hill sounds like it might go doo -doo 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 -doo, like I want it to do but this only really applies to rhythm so let's let's uh hit the space bar again start playing our chords etc and I watched some YouTubes um, of other people using this, and that was a similar sound to what they were getting. Let's see what happens if we grab a monophonic synth and see if that gives us a different result in their arpeggiator. So it's the same settings over there. Let's see what we get. So this is monophonic, so I can only... If I, if, if I try to play a chord, it won't let me. So let's see what happens if we have a monophonic patch... Let me delete that region so it doesn't play. Space bar, play an A minor chord again. Here we go, two, three, four. <laughs> do, 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 do. So, so that, that's getting closer to what I want. Um, let's just grab a couple others here. Uh, rhythmic arc, arp. Space bar. It's just holding. Huh. So you can see both my celebration and frustration. The celebration being that there's a free um, arpeggiator out there, but the frustration being that it doesn't do what I wanted to do right out of the chute. Maybe there's ways to make this do the kind of arpeggios that, that I'm hoping to use that are available like in Omnisphere and um, in uh, uh, Live, A Ableton Live. Um, so here it is, it's a free plugin by MooCoder, uh, worth checking out for sure. And if you have some epiphanies on how to use this as an arpeggiator like we'd like to in, in Logic, please post a video response so all of us can benefit. All right, take care guys, talk to you later.